Hey guys, uh, this is Justin Polite, and I'm um, in Kendall Jacobs' uh, Math 1100 and 1400 class. Um, today, we are going to um, work on our seminar. Uh, it's uh, Cuisinaire, Rods, and Fractions. And uh, today, I'm going to kind of show you a couple of problems on how we how we solve this. Um, so what a Cuisinaire rod is, is I don't actually have one of the rods with me right now. But it, what it is, is it's just a rod. And it, um, it it's a three dimensional object, and um, it's uh, it it'll be one color or the other, which will be green, red. Um, it could be an assortment of colors, um, and its value um, in base ten um, for the for one of the biggest rods would be like a, a ten would be ten units, and um, they're all of the Quesner rods are are um, are expressed. Um, the differences in the colors. So, you know, one that has eight out of the 10. So one rod that has eight, um, would probably be a different color than, than the one that had 10. And so what we're doing here though, is, is we're drawing and we're modeling those Quesner rods. So on this first problem right here, we have three fourths plus one third. Now, um, this couldn't be an easy problem to solve in your head, um, as well as doing it, um, just on written paper. Um, how I did this problem and to represent it using these rods, um, is, um, is I saw that we have, um, fourths and thirds in our denominator. So I went ahead and decided that, um, we can find a common denominator between these and how we do that is, um, the closest number that goes into four and three together is 12. So we can start with 12. So if we start with 12 right here, a big old rod, big rod, and we have 12, 12 units. And then um, we want to represent three fourths. How we do that is we try to find, we, we figure out um, three fours out of 12. So we know that four fours out of 12 will get us 12. No, three fours out of 12 will get us 12. So this is three fourths. So we just want three fourths out of this 12. So basically three fourths right here is going to um, represent um, this rod right here. So this rod right here is twelfths, and this rod right here is representing this rod in three quarters of this rod. So this rod is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine units out of twelve units is three fourths of this right here. So we have the three fourths right here, and then our next number is one third. So we want to represent one third of twelve, and what one third of twelve is is it's this one right here that I drew out right here, and this is the this is another rod, and it has four units on it, and these four units, this rod right here, this whole thing right here represents one third of this right here. So we could put three of these in on top of this rod and they would be um they would be stacked up on top of each other without any any rods extra or um um so they would be perfect. And then um yeah then three quarters is nine units out of the twelve. So the problem reads though we want to do three quarters plus the one third. So how we do the three quarters plus the one third is whatever units from this rod that we had from the three quarters added to the amount of units that we had with this one third rod gives us our answer over 12. So since this is nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus this one, which is four, that gives us 13. And 13 over 12 is our answer right here. So, and another way that you can check it is by doing it how kind of I did like traditionally is um, the common denominator between these two is 12. And I wrote one right here and one right here. And then 4 times 3 is 12 to get us that denominator right there. 4 times 3 gives us 12. That 3 that we multiplied from with 4 to get 12, we use up here to multiply by that 3 to get 9. And then right here, 3 times 4 gives us 12. 
and that 4 times the 1 up here is 4. And since we're adding, we add just the top 9 plus 4 is 13, and we keep our denominator, so 13 twelfths. So we know that that's true. Now, for B, we're going to be dividing. And how we're going to do this is, um, is actually going to be easier than you think. So 5 sixths divided by 1 half. Now, our first thoughts that we should have are what kind of denominator are we going to use? Now, between these two numbers, we can use one of these numbers as the denominator, and we're going to. So whereas the 4 and the 3 for this problem, we had to use 12 because that was the closest number. It doesn't always work that way. Um, for this one, it's actually, this is gonna, we're going to use 6 as our base number. So right over here, I drew our... our uh, uh, Quisenaire rod. And so we have six units right here. So we're going to use six as our denominator. <clears throat> and our question is five six divided by one half. So over here is our representation of five six. So we have five units out of six is the five six. And then right here is the one half. So one half of six sixths is going to be three sixths. And our question reads that 5 6 divided 1 half, what is it? So what we do is we ask ourselves with what we have, this problem right here, with our quiz and our rods, we say, how many halves are in 5 6? So how many of these are going to be in this one right here? Because the question reads 5 6 divided by 1 half. So how many one-halves are going to fit into the 5 6? So how many one-halves are in 5 6? And what we get is we can put 3, we can stack 3 on top of these 3 right here. So then if we if we put 3, the one-half, which we have 3 right here, we'll have 3, we'll have 2 left over. So since this is 5 6, we'll have 3, I'll draw it with you, right here. So we'll have... One, two, three. One, two, three. <clears throat> so this will get exit. We could X this out now since we moved it over here. <clears throat> and then basically, what we have is two left over one and two. <clears throat> so we can fit one, one half, one half into five six of the six six. We can fit one half of the six six in the five six like this with two remaining. And that's what we get is we get one and two left over. So <clears throat> that's just a uh, kind of, um, you know, there was just a couple of problems there, um, but they're all kind of very similar. Um, a lot of them are just kind of finding your base, <clears throat> what equals one. And once you're able to kind of find that, <clears throat> Once you're able to find that um, and able to, um, you know, to, to do this, it does take a lot of thinking and a lot of concentration, um, but uh, it becomes a lot easier um, over time, you know. Um, so, yeah, uh, I hope you guys like this lesson. Um, I hope you guys have a great day and uh, thanks and have a good day. Bye.